Hi guys! Alright, so today, as the title says, I'm going to do a drugstore slash high-end products haul from the products I've just um, bought over the past week or two weeks or whatever. So, I have them all in this little Ulta bag right here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the first one. This is the original beauty blender. Ah! And it's just a pink little sponge and it's to apply basically anything on your face. Usually it's used for foundation and concealer, um, basically any liquid product. And you just dot it all over your face and you use the end to stipple it on the bigger areas of your face such as your cheeks and your forehead and you use the pointed tip to go it really into the grooves of your face such as underneath your eyes and maybe around your nose area and uh, on your chin and it just blends everything flawlessly like honestly I cannot I cannot emphasize like how well this has changed my foundation routine and just makes your face look seamless and perfect so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for um, something new to apply your foundation with the second thing from a high-end store is the Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay and I'm just gonna open up and show you guys so it has one two three four five matte shades and one shimmery shade which is right over here it's like a very shimmery um, cream color like perfect to put right under the brow bone and I love this palette because I feel like it's so versatile like you can honestly just choose a few of the lighter colors and go for a natural look and maybe put a little bit of this um, dark brown right in the crease or you can just take it up a notch and then um, blend with the darker colors there is a black color in there so you can make it as smoky as you want or transform it from a day look to a night look I feel like you could do so many things with this palette and it's super cute and super handy you could bring it on your purse and on the go and I feel like it's just perfect I do have a second palette this is the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes palette and it just looks like this it has a wide ver range of colors, mostly just um, light taupes, darker taupes. There are a few shimmery colors in here. There is a shimmery black and shimmery peach satin sort of colors. And um, there is a dark purple and like a mid-tone gray sort of color for the crease and like smoking up the look. Um, I feel like this is also a very versatile palette. What I like to do is I've been really enjoying putting um, some of the darker colors from the Naked palette onto my crease, but using some of those Boudoir Eyes lighter palette colors um, into like my inner corner or make like the first half of my eye, and I feel like it looks really nice. So the next two things are from Ulta. You can get them from Sephora as well or anywhere that carries Benefit products. And it is these two tiny little primers. Um, they actually sell them together. I didn't get them together, um, but they do sell them for about 10 to 12 bucks at Ulta, I've seen. And let me start with this little bigger one. This is the That Gal Brightening Face Primer. And you basically just dot this all over your face before your foundation, and it helps it not only stay on all day, but it brightens up your face and gives you a really nice glow. And the second one is the Benefit Professional Primer. And um, this one's a little different. It helps minimize the look of your pores. So you can just put it maybe around your nose area and right here in the beginning of your cheeks. And it just keeps, not only does it minimize your pores, but it keeps your face and this whole area matte all day. So I like to put it in my T-zone, especially on my nose where I tend to get oily throughout the day. And I feel like it works really well. And this is the last thing from um, the higher end products, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow pencil, and this is in dark brown, I'm pretty sure, yeah, dark brown, and so this is just the pencil side right here. And it's double-ended, so it comes with the spoolie on the other side, so you can just 
groom it and brush it out and it looks very good. Um, I feel like this, this product is more expensive. It's about $23, but I feel like it's worth it because it's one of the only products that doesn't look, doesn't fade off throughout the day or if I'm rubbing my face, it doesn't like come off onto my hand or anything. It stays put all day, especially if you use a clear brow gel. Um, and yeah, I really like it. I feel like it's perfect because I use the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I use the wax as a base on my eyebrows first, and I use this to kind of underline um, the bottom and especially the end right here, um, where the curve and the, the tail is, sort of, just to make it more precise. Okay, these are all drugstore items from now on, and I'm going to start with these. This is the Essence of Beauty Brush Duo um, Crease Brushes, and these are amazing brushes. I'm going to start with this smaller one right here, and you can use this basically for the outer V. Just kind of put it into, like, right here where your V is on the eyes. And then you can use this one to just kind of blend it out into the crease. I don't feel like this is the perfect blending brush, but as far as the crease goes, I feel like it works perfectly. And they're very stiff dome brushes, so you don't have to worry about it, like, you know, bending too much or not being able to apply um, as much color into the crease or into your eyes as you want. So it's perfect. It's like the perfect like shape, especially for smaller eyes. <clears throat> okay, the next thing is the NYC Big Bold Pump Plumping Lip Gloss. And um, it just looks like this. This is a huge, huge applicator. Um, look at this compared to the size of my thumb. It's huge. Um, so I got the color 469 Magnified Mauve, and it's just a very nice plummy color. Um, it goes along with the, you know, sort of fall trends, and I feel like it's a very good, it's almost like a nude pink, a little darker than that. It has more of a plum color to it, but it's versatile enough to be able to wear with like a smokier look, but also a natural look as well. And to go along with that, I have the Rimmel London Lipstick, and this one is in 046 Metallic Shimmer. And that's just what it looks like, just a basic plum color with a little bit of shimmer, and I feel like it's perfect. It glides on smoothly, and this literally lasts all day. It lasts so well, and for the price, I feel like it's absolutely perfect. It's only about four to five bucks, maybe even cheaper than that. It's by Rimmel. And the next thing from the drugstore is this NYX The Curve Liner. So this is what it looks like. And I know it's kind of shaped kind of funny. It doesn't look like your normal eyeliner. But um, so it's actually indented right here where you can put your second finger just so you can go right into your eyes and create the perfect line and if you want to wing it out like I did today you just all you have to do is drag it up a little bit and then connect it with the line that's on top of your lash line and I feel like it works perfectly with the pencils it's a little harder I don't know maybe it's just harder for me because I can't I'm not coordinated enough but I feel like it works perfectly because it's shaped in the way that is perfect to apply onto your lids and I feel like that just makes it so much easier and it's so much more effective. The next thing from the drugstore is this L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. So it has two sides. This first side is white and it's actually the primer as you would call it. So it's like the base coat that you would put on your lashes when your lashes are have completely nothing on them and it just helps extend them and the other side is, of course, the mascara. And this one is the waterproof version. And this really helps lengthen your, your lashes. I don't think that it does an amazing job with volume. When I try and go for a more volumized look, I would definitely use the Maybelline Falsies. But to help lengthen, I feel like this is 
an amazing mascara. You should definitely check it out. And the last thing from the drugstore is this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. This is actually my second one that I've bought. I love this eyeshadow. It's just a very creamy consistency, if you can see. And it's just a very nice bronze taupey color. I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys. And it's just very, very pigmented. It looks great on the eyelids. You honestly don't even have to put anything in the crease. You can just put it on your lids and you're good to go for the entire day. And it looks like you actually put some effort into your eyeshadow when you really just swirled it in the pot and just applied it onto your lids. And it looks amazing, I feel like, on any skin tone. And I actually forgot one of my high-end products. This is by MAC. This is their Pro Long Wear. And I really like this concealer. I feel like it gives a very full coverage. The only thing that I would change if I could is the pump. First of all, it gets messy very quickly. I've only used about two or three times because I just bought it very recently. But when you push down on the pump, it gives you so much product that I feel like I only end up using about half or one third of the, the puddle that it gives me. And I feel like if they just made a smaller pump or a pump that, you know, exerted a little less of a less product I would be able to use it more effectively um, but yeah that's it for my drugstore slash high-end products if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them below and give this a thumbs up bye guys